problem number 3 from projection of plane in which uh, first step is to find out the shape of the plane and where it is resting and how it is resting so these two or three things you need to find out for first initial position so the shape is a rectangular plane and dimension is also given to you and where it is resting has its shorter edge on HP so it is resting on HP with its shorter edge so it, by using this three information we are going to construct a initial position of the plane so let's say this is your XY line your plane is on the HP so that means a top view gives you the true shape so you have to construct a top view as a rectangle but it is resting with its shorter edge so shorter edge should be over here so you need to construct a rectangle with a dimension of 20 mm by 40 mm So this is the top view of our plane which is resting on HP with its shorter edge. Give names to them A, B, C and D. <coughs> the top view of the plane is a straight line. So you have to project them on XY line and draw the front view of the plane as a straight line. So these points are a dash b dash and this is c dash d dash so my initial position is complete now for uh, second position or intermediate position you need inclination with respect to hp but they are not giving you the in, uh, inclination with hp draw the projection of when the top view is a perfect square of a size 20 instead of giving the angle of the plane they are giving you the uh, the whatever how it is look when it's rotated or inclined with HP. So it's look like a square. So you have to construct a square over here with the size of 20 mm. So if in exam they are not giving you the size of 20 mm, it is but obvious uh, the size will be 20 because uh, to draw the top view you need a projection of front view, uh, uh, projection of initial position like this. So one edge of your square is by default a 20 mm. You can see this size is a 20 mm. So if they are not giving you the size, if they ask you only for a square, then you can construct a square of 20 mm. So that is a trick one. So you have to construct a 20 mm uh, square like this. complete the square and give names to them a b c and d you don't know the inclination you have to find out the inclination by projecting this and this okay so if this point is a dash b dash then you have to mark you have to measure this distance which is 40 mm and make an arc on this line so this point is your c dash d dash when you join it it will gives you the front view of the plane and you have to find out the angle so the angle will be around uh, 58 so this is the intermediate position now the shorter edge on the HP and incline at an angle of 40 degree with the VP so what what is uh, inclined with the VP a shorter edge which shorter edge this is AB so AB makes an angle of 40 degree with VP so you have to mark any point and measure a angle of 40 degree over here and draw a line like this so this angle is 40 degree 
now you can see this AB line is perpendicular to HP. You have to make it as an at an angle of 40 degree. So first of all, draw this uh, line over here, which is 20 mm, and you have to construct AB anywhere on the square, uh, anywhere on this line. But make sure once you draw a square, it will not uh, going up for means uh, above the XY line. Construct a square of here. So I just rotate this shape over here at an angle of 40 degrees. So this point is A, B, and these are the C and D. Now you have to project it. If this is at an angle of 45, then your D and B should be lies in a same line. But it is at an angle of 40 degree, so it will not lies in a same line. You have to take a projections of intermediate position to find out intersecting points. So this point is A point, A dash point. This is a B dash. This is C dash and D dash. Now joint all of them. So this is your final position. So this is initial position, intermediate position and final position. You have to write down over here uh, with uh, capital letters. So this is the problem number three from projection of plane.